We fucking hate the police.
gonna survive. Take my fucking life and bury me alive! <laughs> Welcome to the Pop Off Podcast. I'm Derek. And I'm Matt. And we're here with Worm World. Worm World. I am Richard. I scream and play guitar for Worm World. I am Vinny. I play drums for Worm World. 
I'm Oscar. I play bass, and sometimes I scream too. Warm World is a name that reminds me of the underground and um, the afterlife. I was also kind of thinking of just how like worms crawl through things, like um, like wormwood, See, this psychedelic, guy gets it. psychedelic <laughs> like um, compound. You were kind of like the absent thing. Is what's the inspiration for the worm? You know, th there are several inspirations for the worm. I would say so. We have two answers, all right, and I'll ask you which one you want to hear first. We have our our dude, we're cool answer, and then we have our, okay, this is what really happened. <laughs> uh, both, please. All right, well, listen, think nope. about it like this, right? We all become a warm world in the end, right? Uh, when you're 10 feet or six feet under and you're decomposing down there and all those little creepy crawlies are everything. going through you, you're a whole world full of worms. That's but like, that's like Bender floating through space. Like, you're, <laughs> the, you're the planet then. You're pla I get so, it. Yeah, exactly, yeah. But... But realistically, it was a video game. Yeah, yeah. We there's a secret level in this game called Spelunky, and it it's called it's just called the Worm, but we kept calling it Worm World. Yeah, every time we see like the entrance to it, we're like, "Yo, we're gonna go to Worm World, dog." We're always so excited to go into Worm World. And then we kept like joking around, like, we're like every time we'd say it, we're like, "Yo, Worm World," and we're like, "Dude." That's such a good band name. We gotta, we gotta make the. But we're like joking around at first, and then eventually we're like, uh, okay. No, I agree. It is a great band name. I think it's awesome. And um, how long have you guys been playing together as a group? Like, uh, like since the pandemic, really. So like four like years four now. Four years now, yeah. Yeah, our uh, four-year anniversary of being a band is like next week. Very cool. Dude, I didn't even know that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I dig the upbeat style, and like the punk rock song structures. You know, they're pretty quick, and so it it definitely like grabs your attention. I definitely like the um, some of the more rhythmic stuff too. Like you've got that classic punk sound, but there are some breakdowns where you expand it in. Even like towards the end, kind of reminded me of um, like that Rage Against the Machine vibe. Yeah, I think it's really cool. Um, I, I never really noticed it at first, if I'm going to be honest. Like, like we just kind of wrote songs and jammed out, and we're like, dude, that sounds good. But, like, we have had people before come up to us and say, like, dude, I like how it's, like, punk, but, like, you still got groove in it or something like that. Or, like, oh, you, it's punk, but there's, like, you hear, like, the rhythm or you hear a little bit of melody. And I'm like, oh, yeah, that is in there. Never I noticed. I was definitely hearing, like, some hints of Rage Against the Machine and, like, System of a Down and other bands as well, like, outside of just the, you know, punk genre. Yeah, I noticed the comment in the A cab about the police and stuff i want to know what what like specifically do you not like about the police like what's i think the police are just like it's just like an organized gang really it, i think how cops think it's just us against them and they're always trying to just go on a power trip or whatever bullshit you know and then cover it i right do up. feel that you know and like i like police that's a hard job that they have but even people that are in that, you know, like the, the, the blue line type of thing, it's like, man, they're their own separate thing. You know, don't answer questions, you know, unless you're being detained, just do what they say. This is not Otherwise, the they'll kill you. But, yeah. I mean, even people that like it, they forget. It's like, dude, the cops are not your friends. They're there to do their job. Mm -hmm. And it's like, um, I appreciate, too, that you bring that into your songs, you know, like the political nature of it. Because I know that there's probably like police that listen to Rage Against the Machine, yeah, and people will Definitely. take their own message from the music. Yeah. But I could feel like the emotion. There were some breakdowns where you, I couldn't understand every word you were saying, but it was pretty good. Yeah, and like to go with the whole cop thing, it's like also just tied to like a big system of how they're trained and stuff. Like, like it's just like a whole thing, you know, like. Well, you than guys kind of are, are alluding to that with like military man too a little bit. Yeah, right. Exactly. Like track a lot. It's not like, hey, you're in the military, fuck you. It's more like, well, it's the system that you know they they, they push like the way they do certain things that it's oh, like, yeah, like nowadays too. It's not like it's all a bunch of white dudes. Like you get your ass beat by a black cop just as easy, you know, if you if you do the wrong thing. Mm -hmm. But um, uh, and then also in another song though. You were singing in Spanish, like parts of it were in that, which yeah. obviously I didn't understand, but I thought that was <laughs> awesome. Yeah, you know, it's something like I've always kind of 
been teetering on and off of like you know i i've always wanted to do a song in spanish but like not sure you know i guess just doubtful in myself you know what i mean it's like well am i gonna you know make sense you know am i, gonna I think you're talking about too that was like um again like a political you're talking about like double speak yeah it's it's a lot about how you say one thing and or how a politician i mean will say one thing and do something else or or how maybe like they're they speak in a way that will obviously gain gain them favor, but then are they gonna do that? You know, what's what's their intention? What That's are they really cool gonna do? That's cool with the Spanish in that song because it's you could be saying like I'm jamming out, I'm rocking out over here, and you could be saying like fuck you, asshole. You yeah. know, like it's that double speak. So I think that is a good idea. I. I I hope I hope to see more of that type of stuff. Yeah, I heard oh, you yeah. guys play it when you were warming up, and originally when we were talking about what songs you're gonna play, you weren't originally playing. I was like, no, I definitely play that Spanish song. <laughs> I think I think jams out, man. Thank you. Hell yeah. yeah. Bring it out for the start of Hispanic Heritage Month. Oh, <laughs> you're <laughs> so <laughs> right. Dude. That is coming. Is that in that's today? Today, dude. Today, dude. Today is uh, also what? What is that? No, no, oh, oh, this is me. How do I not know this, dude? I'm Salvadorian, and um, if I'm not mistaken, today is our Independence Independence Day, was it, Richard? Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, I'm from Venezuela. We're just fucked. Bad Salvadorian here. I'm sorry, guys. I do know what day it is here, though, on the pop off. Yeah. It's um, septum piercing day <laughs> on the pop off. Literally. Sure, yeah. So I say, well, we were talking about licking batteries and I guess this fool <laughs> stuck a battery up to his nose just to, just to give you that extra juice. It's how you get that stage presence, right? Dude, you had to know. See, so many people threatened me with it that I'm like, I have to know if this is a fear that I, <laughs> that I need to have. Someone's just going to come up to me with a battery and just like shock me or something. But it does not do that. You know, no shockage. Only warms Maybe up. Maybe you need a bigger battery. That's Maybe. all. And you know, <laughs> non musicians might understand, but like, if you got pedal boards, there's just nine volts hanging around all the time. You can't remember <laughs> which ones are good or bad, so just give it, plug it in real quick. Dude, my That's fucking bass has a nine volt in it, like, because it's an active, which is so annoying sometimes. Speaking of, I, I dig the gear. You know, it's, it's simple setup. You guys are really easy to work with. If you guys get the chance to work with them, highly suggest it. They came in, knocked it out. So do you guys have some stuff up for stream right now where people can listen to your music? Yeah, so uh, we have a Spotify, and we have one song. We have one song on that Spotify. It was at the very beginning, uh, Dirt Brain. So you heard it first here, folks. Exclusively. Well, <laughs> not exclusively <laughs> out there. <I> <laughs> exactly. And for the people that like what you guys are doing, where's the best place to like follow and engage with you and see what you guys have coming up? We can be reached out at Worm World Band. That's one word. Worm World Band on, on everything. On everything, yeah. Yeah, on everything. We got we we also got a song coming out. Uh that last song Terra Dome will be coming out on streaming soon. On um, what day was it, Vin? Uh, October 16th. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Hell well, yeah. Well, guys, thanks for making the trip. It's cool that you came in from Orlando. We've uh, been having a fair amount of Orlando bands, so we appreciate you guys, uh, you know, making the hike over here. We definitely enjoyed the performance. It was really good. Really enjoyed what you guys are, you know, putting out there. And I hope to do a show together soon. Hell I hear yeah. you guys got something coming up this month, next month, something like that. Yeah, so far we have two more shows in September, um, September 28th, we're playing on the Space Coast Battle of the Bands in Satellite Beach. And then the next day, we're playing back in Orlando at Stardust. Very yeah. cool. Yeah. Go support live music. Share this video with your friends. Like yeah. and subscribe. Hell yeah. Bye. Yeah.